Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about Jimmy rigging your batteries. Yes. What does that mean? Saving dollars is what it means. Yeah, basically. And we're gonna show you how to do it. Exactly. Pretty cool. Right here in front of us, we have the AR drone Parrot. Yes, the Parrot. Ah Parrot AR drone, you got it. You're right. And this is a, a new novelty that's uh, sold all different malls and, and everything that basically people navigate it with their phones. But yes, it, it, being your a smartphone. Yeah, being a novelty item, phone. So. it is expensive. Yeah, it is. And the batteries are even more expensive. Mm. And we the want battery is more expensive than this thing. No, no, no. But they're expensive in comparison to our model airplane batteries, okay. and that's what we're going to show you guys today. Basically, how you can get about four times the battery for the price of one. Wow. Yeah, and even more performance too. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and start talking. All about right. This. What do you say? Popped open. There we go. First of all, there's no battery at all. What a rip off. We got our battery right here. Ah. Now, this is a 1,000 milliamp, three cell LiPo battery. It has a standard balance cords, uh, and it does come with a battery charger, which is really nice. So the battery charger that's used on this will also be used for the uh, model airplane battery. Okay. Okay, and specifically, why don't you hold up the other one here. This, this, one is, here. this is what we're gonna be using basically to make this fit in this and work on this. Because this is about a third of the price. A third to a fourth of the price, actually. And it's more power. Yeah, more power. You got 1,000 milliamps, you got 1300, so you're gonna have longer flight times, but also it has a higher C rating. Do you remember what C rating does? No. It gives you more voltage delivered to the plane. Okay. Okay. More voltage. So I kind of called you on that one, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Well, we haven't gone over that. Higher C rating gives it more of an ability to deliver the uh, power to the motors. And this is only a 10C, this is a uh, 20 to 30C. Great. So you got longevity, you got power deliverance. It's just all around better and it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. Yes. You're gonna need some basic soldering skills and for you guys out there, we did an episode on changing battery connectors in the past, I'm sure there'll be a link to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're gonna need to make an adapter and the nice thing is you don't have to go out and buy another one of these connectors. Go out and look at our uh, episode on uh, soldering uh, battery connectors, follow that, but you're gonna go ahead and remove this battery connector and you're gonna put on an XT60 male, just like that. And now you have that extra fitting that came off of this and you also have an adapter. So if you already went out and spent about 30 to 40 bucks per battery, you have an adapter so you can continue to use them. You don't have to modify every one of them. All you need is one. So you basically just buy a 30 to $40 adapter. No, you just basically uh, repurposed, we'll, we'll say, repurposed your, your battery. I'm not getting the uh, more affordable thing here. The more affordable we thing? We just bought two batteries. No, two no, 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 no. Th this battery turns yeah. into this battery. You only Magic need one battery. battery. Yeah, and you get a battery with your plane, so with your parrot mm -hmm. so you don't need to worry about that okay all right sure so basically we made that and as you guys can see we, we didn't put any heat we do what in Did you say make this no we made this either way awkward we, we made an adapter but the important thing is is your battery is gonna end up looking like this all right mating baby yes <laughs> circle of life <laughs> We got our adapter. Basically, the adapter is now gonna plug into here. Uh -huh. You don't need to go ahead and cut into your Parrot. You're good to go. And now you can go either OEM modified or Expensive. you can go basically a Turnergy 1.3. And here's the cool thing. Check out how nice this fits. That's nice. That fits so nice. You got a basically, what is it, Chad? 19 grams of weight difference between the two? Uh, yes, around Yeah, about 19 grams of weight difference. Basically. You got a third more life in the battery mm -hmm. and a whole lot more power distribution. You're good to go. Good to go. So basically. the weight difference is not going to be totally nominal. And once I said 30 to 40 bucks, right. basically seven to eight dollars right here. Basically seven to eight dollars. You got it. That sounds like a good deal. Yep. Basic soldering skills, probably about 10 minutes of your time. And you yeah. saved a lot of money. And you're basically done. You're basically done. Cool. Absolutely. All right. Now, we did a review on this probably about six uh, months ago. It was ago. forever. Ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. About Why five months ago. Why haven't we seen that yet? Well, we're gonna see it now. Uh, so basically, we have already filmed a review of this little guy here, so we right. wanna show it to you guys and see what it's capable of. It's a pretty cool little thing. It is really cool, and stuff. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Here it is. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the Parrot AR drone. It's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Now, this is not something that Hobby King carries as of now. As of now. Maybe uh, we can change that. Yeah, but we were so excited about it. We thought it was such a cool thing that we wanted to do a review on it as soon as possible. Absolutely. So here it is. Absolutely. Uh, this is like nothing else we've ever reviewed. This is not really a helicopter, not really an airplane. It's a quadcopter. Uh, four motors used in uh, different RPMs will make the airplane function in different ways. Uh, you got every uh, thing you can do with a helicopter and an airplane as far as yaw, pitch, altitude change. It's just done through motors. No wow. lift involved. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Sweet. So how do you control it? Well, 
you control it with an iPhone. This is originally designed to work off an iPhone. Get and out. It, yeah, seriously, you, you don't even need a transmitter. There really is an app yeah. for everything. And the neat thing about this too is it actually has two cameras on this. So basically you can look straight down, you can look ahead of you. So you actually not only get a really cool, crazy airplane helicopter thing, but you're getting an FPV system too. Sweet, and an iPhone. And an, oh, no, with no, the iPhone. it doesn't come with the iPhone. Okay. And, and from what I hear, I think they're actually, it's open system architecture. They're actually working for other phones to be able to work with it. But right now the iPhone is the one that was originally manufactured for. Okay. Yeah. So guys, there's nearly nothing I can tell you about this other than flying it. It is amazing to do. And uh, I can show you how we hook it up and, and, and take it off. So it comes with this and with the iPhone? No, it doesn't That's come with the iPhone. But, but what it does come with, it, it comes with the outside body. It's brightly colored so you can see it without the protective gear. And uh, it also comes with one, the bumpers. 1,000 milliamp three cell battery pack and the charger and a whole bunch of manuals. Read the manuals. It's a lot of good stuff in there. Okay, sweet. Okay, you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Now, guys, for you to know, this is about $300. It's an amazing buy. It doesn't look very big, but for the electronics and the uh, intricacy, and how stable this is, it's an amazing value for the money. So $300, you get this, you get the extra cap for it, yep. and you get the iPhone. No, you don't get the this iPhone. This is amazing. You don't get the iPhone, but you do get a battery and an extra body. Okay. And actually, for that matter, you can actually have an iPad too. It comes with an iPad? No, you, you can fly it with an iPad as you well. You can do either iPad or iPod. iPad or iPhone. Whatever no, you iPod. like. Just get an eye something. something. Get an iPhone or an iPad, you're golden. I'll tell you Take what, this thing off if I didn't have an iPhone or an iPad, I'd be tempted to buy one just so I could have fun with this thing. Is For that sure. Much fun? All right. All right. Well, guys, basically it communicates off the Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and show you how this uh, goes together and how we get it up in the air. Okay. Okay. Go ahead Let's and put it. it down. All right, Josh. First thing, obviously, we made the battery. We connected it so that the, the uh, quad copier is all plugged in and, and charged. And we're going to activate our Wi-Fi. All right. And if we did everything right, this will actually pop up. So Wi-Fi. Turn it on. If you look at here, AR drone. There it is. We're gonna touch it. Because it's a touch screen. It's a touch screen. Technology exactly. is just great. Now we did that, and we're gonna go back to our home screen. All right, the application's open. We can actually see all the cameraman's feet yep. and everything, so yep. we're good to go there. Okay. Now here's the neat thing. You don't have to worry about throttling up. All you need to do is touch the takeoff button. It's gonna get fired up. Look at that. Wow. It's gonna go to about three, four feet. Look at that. Now, it's gonna hover there. See this? I can move it around. Yeah, it's, it's, not, unique. it's not until I put my, my thumbs down that I can control it. And look at that. Now your left thumb. Isn't that cool? Amazing. Now, this thumb controls your altitude and also your yaw. So if you want to go down, you slide it down, or you want to go up. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now, if you want to fly it, Take it around town. Yeah, take it around town. So there's no throttle. Yep, no throttle. There's only an altitude there's up and down. There's only an altitude up and down. Throttle is all managed by the... Uh, that's great, because that's one less thing I have to think about. There we are. Hey. Yeah, you hi. like that? Yeah. Do not go back and forth. It will uh, kind of screw you up It'll mentally. Throw you off. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So keep your eyes on the screen. Yes. Keep your eyes on the screen. Keep down. I've only been flying this for about one day, and I'll tell you what, the neat thing is it's so user-friendly. Once you do it a couple times, you get more and more comfortable, and you can actually set your trims to, to be more and more or less sensitive. So you can start off as a beginner, and then you can work up your controls so the sensitivities are more, so you can fly it more and more aggressively as you go on. Your battery life's about 12 minutes. It takes about an hour and a half to charge, and uh, that will give you uh, a lot of fun. I'll tell you, after 12 minutes of flying, this would be pretty darn exhilarating. There is a slight delay because this works through Wi-Fi. You got a momentary delay, so you want to be real careful. If you're flying in close in obstacles, don't uh, don't trust as far as uh, what you see on the screen. You always have to be a little bit ahead of the uh, of the quadcopter to, to have a good experience. All right, brother. I'll tell you, it's so easy. I believe in you. you can do okay. it. Okay. All right, here we go. Are you heavy? I'm ready. So tell me what to do, and I'll and I'll, well, and I'll give it a I shot. Think, I think you're doing it. Uh, go ahead and have some fun. Fly it around. Forward. Yep, for you guys out there, basically whatever you hold the uh, the phone's angle at, I would suggest maybe a 45 degree angle, that way you have plenty to rock forward, plenty to rock back. If you hold it flat, you're going to have to really rock forward hard. So either hold it flat in front of your face and use it this way, or the 45 is what I'm real comfortable with, and you can uh, control it a lot easier that way. I mean, you're doing really good. Thanks. It's pretty docile, yeah, as you would say. Absolutely. And the important thing is with the hobbies, you want to have success, you want to have a good experience. This is one thing that's phenomenal because you can basically pick it up and have a good experience. Read through the instructions, get good and familiar with where everything is, but if anything happens, you take your fingers off the buttons, it'll self-write itself. And like you're that. doing good. Yep, just like that.
How do you land it? Well, one thing you don't do is hit the emergency button, like we right, talked about. Right. This little button, originally it had uh, right in the mid middle there, originally had an arrow pointing up that was for taking off. If you touch it again, it'll bring it down in a controlled landing. Okay. So why don't you fly it back to us and do a landing? What do you sure. say? Sure. All right, here it is. Yep, there it is. Now you can take your hands off it, it's stable. Yeah. Go ahead and touch that button in the middle, and it'll go down for a nice controlled landing. Nice and slow. Just like that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That was easy. That was a good landing, man. Thanks, you did man. really good. Thanks. It, it's awesome. You hit one button, it lands. All in all, this is an easy plane to fly. You guys are going to have a real good experience with this. I'll tell you what, for 300 bucks, what they include with it is amazing. You got two cameras, one pointing straight down, one pointing out. So you can actually switch your camera angles in, in midair. You can hover it and then look down, straight down, or you can look out. It's, it's really cool. It comes with an iPhone? Yep. No, it doesn't come with oh, an iPhone. I'm sorry, the iPad. doesn't come with an iPad. The iPod Touch. doesn't come with the iPod Touch. Okay. You gotta buy those. All right. But what it does come with is an extra body, a battery, a charger, and a manual that I strongly suggest reading because there's so many features on this, you wanna be familiar with it. I'll tell you what, it'll be a lot of fun to read through, find out what you get for the bang for the buck. Okay. So, absolutely. All right, well, like we said, Hobby King does not carry this as of now, but we wanna thank them for sponsoring this episode anyway, and we wanna thank all you guys for watching. So let's, uh, let's, let's take Let's charge on the battery and go somewhere. All right, yeah. We know that you guys like to see a lot of the aerial footage, a lot of the FPV footage, a lot of the you know aerial from the ground footage, whatever that's called. I don't know. Is there an acronym for that? Ground to air footage. I guess. You, don't, you guys don't have an acronym. We for don't that. have an acronym for wow. that. Wow. No. Maybe we could come up with one. That's the first. I will let you do that. But anyways, a lot of you guys probably don't want to hear us talk all that much. You guys want to see the planes. You want to see the action. So we have a lot of footage of a lot of different planes that we've shot over the what, years. 70, 80 episodes now. Yeah. Something.